Well, we've been tracking red tide along our coast now for months. Yeah, that's right. And with Hurricane Michael churning in the Gulf, experts are curious what will be the impact on the toxic blooms. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee joins us now live. And Heather, what are scientists thinking about this? Well, Lauren, they are cautiously optimistic at this point, but scientists say it will all depend on the currents out in the Gulf as this storm pushes through. In 2005, researchers at NOAA told ABC Action News Hurricane Katrina moved the red tide away from the coast and reduced the size of the so-called dead zones, which could be promising here. Hurricanes have been known to disperse the bloom to the point where it doesn't come back. They've also been known to mix things up and maybe get more nutrients available. Now, they don't believe that this will break it up completely, but they do believe that it could push this further away from our coast, just like it did in 2005. In Pinellas County, Heather Lee, ABC Action News. Okay, Heather, thanks for that update. Uh, and remember, you can count on us to bring you live reports from the storm zone. We have a team of reporters and photographers on the road to the Florida Panhandle. We will have team coverage throughout today and tomorrow until that storm passes.